Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to enter credit card charges in QuickBooks Desktop. So I'll be using QuickBooks Premier today, uh, but the process will be the same with QuickBooks Pro. So uh, first, to get to the enter credit card charges screen, you have two options. So from your home page, you can go over here to the banking section in the lower right hand side and you can click on enter credit card charges. And that'll bring up the window we're looking for. Let me close that and show you a second way to get to it. We can go up here to our menu, go under banking, and again enter credit card charges. So brings us to the same screen. Uh, to enter credit card charges is fairly straightforward. Um, in the credit card slot here, make sure you choose the correct credit card. Uh, so if you have multiple credit cards, obviously make sure you're using the right one. This sample company only has one credit card, so we'll make sure that's selected. If you're recording a purchase, you obviously want to choose purchases there. You can easily record a refund or a credit from the credit card company by clicking the other button. <clears throat> okay, so let's put it back to purchases. Great. From there, we just want to choose our vendor. We'll say well, this was the, the accounting firm. Um, if it's a vendor you don't have, you can set that up on the fly. We can call this like maybe new vendor. Um, this screen popped up for me and we can do a quick add to add the new vendor. So let's go back to our accounting firm. Oops. There we go. Accounting firm. Um, the date, the amount, we'll say we charge $300. We'll say bookkeeping fees. Okay, now here you get your choice. You can either use expenses or items or a combination of both, but obviously they need to all together add up to $300. Okay, so let's just use an expense account. If you're confused as to the difference between expenses and items, uh, just a quick summary. Expenses are actual expense accounts. Items are things you uh, buy and sell to your customers or they can be services that you provide to your customers. Um, you map items so that when you record an item they go to particular expense accounts so it can be a bit confusing. We're just going to use expense accounts. Um, to learn more about expenses versus items I'd recommend googling something like uh, QuickBooks expenses versus items. So let's choose our accounting. I'm assuming we have some sort of accounting fees expense account. There we go and we are going to say it's three it's the full three hundred dollars okay so we could write another memo here if we like now <clears throat> if you want to charge this particular expense to a customer this is where you could do that if you want to mark it billable to that customer you can mark it there and then next time you do an invoice to that customer the expense will appear and you can throw it onto the invoice so the customer reimburses you and then if you want to you could assign it to a particular class and so these are the classes set up in this sample company so classes are nice you can track revenue and expenses by class to see which particular areas of your business are profitable so I highly encourage you to learn to use uh, all of these fields the customer job the class field and then passing billable expenses on to your customer. Okay, but we're going to leave them blank, and that's all that's to it. We can click Save and New and move on to the next expense. Okay, now um, that's the normal way to, to enter credit card charges. I'm going to show you a shortcut. However, the shortcut does not allow you to enter credit card charges as items, only as expenses, and it doesn't allow you to to assign them to a customer job billable and class and so I really caution you in using the shortcut method if you need to use these fields okay however if all you're doing is wanting to accumulate your expenses after the end of the year because you're trying to file a tax return then this other method is probably acceptable so what you want to do is go to banking use register and then select your checking. Since we did it from within the credit card, it automatically took us to the credit card. Uh, automatically took us to the credit card register. It may pop up a window that asks you to choose which account. So then you just want to make sure, obviously, you choose the credit card account you're interested in. So this is very much like a check register. Okay, we can see the $300 charge we just entered. We entered it with a date of December 15th, and so that's showing up in our check register we can enter additional 
charges. Um, this one will go to, I don't know, we'll just pick one, Anderson's Hardware and Tools for $400. Um, I don't know, we'll just say supplies. Okay, and there we go. So this is much faster to enter. You don't have nearly as many fields to uh, to tab through. So just a couple of fields, it'll enter it. It'll accumulate your expenses by your expense accounts that you specify here. However, you can't use all those other fields. So as a review of the other fields here, right, you won't be able to use customer, billable, class, and you can't use any items. So up to you which method you want to use. The register method much faster. However, you lose a lot of the uh, options you have available in the credit card field. Okay, uh, well, great. Um, hopefully that taught you how to enter your credit card charges in QuickBooks Desktop. Uh, thank you for your time. I hope you have a great day.